Thanks for stopping and listening. You ever been to a pool and watched children as they learn to dive, or jump? Generally, a parent sits in the water about chest high and the child sits on the stands on the side of the pool about two feet away and sits there and pauses and puts their arms out. And then after some coaxing, they typically jump. And they jump into the arms of their parents and all safe. Have you ever seen that? It's just adorable to watch. Or when they learn to try to dive and they belly flop. And they just keep repeating it until they finally learn it. But the one thing that's remarkable is the trust that the child learns to have in their parents. And knowing that the parent's going to kind of catch them. You know, God's like that. He asks you to step out. But sometimes it's it's a small thing and maybe sometimes it's just a bigger thing or just a time where it's just uncomfortable. You know the times. There's been times that God's asked you to do something and you know he's asking you to do t- something and it's uncomfortable, embarrassing in the sense if you have to go up and say something to somebody or, or do something that uh, or talk to them or whatever that might be. But once you trust that things are going to be okay and you step out, isn't it really similar to the same thing that you did when you learned to jump into the pool into the arms of your parent? Aren't you really learning to trust God and to follow his direction? So the next time you attempt, you know that he'll be there and you can jump into the arms of your father over and over and over again. And the more you do it, the more your trust grows. The more your trust grows, the bigger the quests become. And that's that's how it works, isn't it? You know, but sometimes we have problems with trusting God. Why? Because we believe a faulty model. We believe that the person that we're jumping into the pool won't catch us because they didn't before. And you fell into water and nearly drowned. Figuratively speaking, that is. Those imperfect parents are not who God is. God ask you to do something, he will help you. You can trust him. The model is not your parents. He sets his model in his word. Look to it. Let him describe and show you who he is and take that leap of faith into his arms. He will catch you. Trust him. He's there.